So if you click the down arrow in the title of this um, Word document, you'll notice that it has the extension .dotx, which is a template. So I'll just click away from that. So what we want to do also on on the ribbon is add a new tab called Developer because that's where all the controls will be in order to create our um, interactive table. So if you notice I have table design and layout, it's because I'm in the table. If I click anywhere outside the table, that tab, those tabs move. So they're, they're no longer active. When I click back in the table, they're active. Either way, we want to add another tab up here. So click the File button and go all the way to the very bottom in your, your choices on the left hand side in blue and choose options and then select customize ribbon and if you'll notice your main tabs are showing they're already indicated if you hold the drag down you'll see developer is not there select it with a check mark and then click OK and you have a whole new tab up here called developer so go ahead and select that and the ribbon changes and we'll be using most of the features in the content group so the first thing you're going to do is click in the cell to the right of name so click in the cell to the right of name and then what you want to do is to have anyone that you send this um, form to this word document be able to type in it so what you have to do is change it to the control to rich text content so if you hover up at the top in the controls button and you hover over the capital A and lowercase a it's insert a rich text content control and that'll allow the user to type in there so go ahead and select that and then you'll choose properties and we're going to give it a title and that is full name and then click OK and then we want to turn design mode on right now it's not active because there's no gray box around it and what you'll do is you'll click design mode and it adds it as the content that you gave it as a title is full name and you'll notice that desi design mode is now active and we're going to select the text that says click tap or tap here to enter text select that and you're going to type enter your full name here period to select the entire content control click the box in gray that's full name and that selects everything for you and then we'll choose home and we're going to change the font size to 14 bold and then we'll choose font color red accent 6 and then you'll click the developer tab and then you can click in the next one to see so you can press tab twice or just click in the cell to the right of position and then in this one we're going to choose plain text control button and then go to the properties button and give it a title and the title is just job and then make sure that it, you check off use a style to format text typed into the empty control box so go ahead and click that and in the style arrow choose strong and then click OK and again we're going to select where it says click or tap here t for text and it's between these these two um, they call them content tags so between the two tags and here you'll type enter your job title here so enter your job title here period and then you can click outside of it 
and then you're going to click to the right of the date and up in the control box we're looking for date picker content control so go ahead and select that properties and this one is, we'll type current date. So the, the title of this is current date. And then if you go down to where it says display the date like, select the third option. So it spells out the month. And then click OK. And to get, again, between the two tags, select the click or tap to enter data date and what you're going to type is click the down arrow to show a calendar and select the current date period make sure you proofread and there are no errors now we're going to click the blank cell below top trainers so below top trainers and this time we're going to do a picture so if you hover up into your controls picture content control button select that choose properties and the title for this one will be insert make sure, make sure your title is insert up to three pictures and then click OK and then design mode is still on so click it to turn it off and you can save and we'll continue so next if you click the picture control that you just put in there and then you actually uh, select the title it selects um, it should be selected for you and then what you want to do just to make sure it's all gray and then when you'll select with it all selected you'll choose repeating section content control and then under presentations Next, you'll click in the blank cell under presentations, and we're looking for this checkbox. So you'll select checkbox content control, and then choose properties. And the title for this one is activity. And um, click the use a style to format text. So make sure that's selected. And then for the style, choose title. And then where it says symbol label, check symbol, choose change. And then make sure you change your font from symbol to wingdings. And the one they want is um, character code 252. And it should be a check mark and then OK and then you'll click OK again so at this point we want to get the same content box in all of the following cells so to make this active click the activity so it's selected and then you can just simply copy and then click in the next cell and paste let me just back up I want the um, not the uh, I want the box selected so make sure you, the check mark is, is not selected, just the activity in the box. That's what we want to copy first. So go ahead and copy and then go to each of the cells and paste and then select the whole row and you want to center them in the middle. 
and we'll save and continue. Leaving this here, and you just did a recent save, click File, and then choose a blank document. And you're going to type a, um, a phrase. So you're going to type, enter the titles of your top three workshops with an S, period, then press Enter, and then Insert, Smart Art, go to List, and they want this one, which is called Vertical Box List and then click OK. Choose change color and they want the colorful accent colors which is the first one. I just had it a hundred forty percent. Click the top box so it's just the top one that's orange is selected and then hold shift click the gray one and then the yellow one. Let go of shift and then we'll go to Smart Art Format, and then we're going to go to sh sh um, Shape Outline, and we want to change the weight to one and a half, just below it. So click in the text above the Smart Art, and what we want to do is select everything that's in here the smart art as well as the sentence above it. So control A will select everything. And then you'll click the insert tab. So we're not doing a copy and paste. We want to use this um, in future um, times and we want this particular um, smart art and text. There's a feature called quick parts. So select quick parts and you want to save selection to quick part gallery and you're going to give it a tile title and it's going to be called workshop list and then click OK and you can save this if you'd like um, and, and I'll have you submit it it's um, ILWD 10 survey building block so you can go ahead and save that in your files and then we'll go back to the, the um, survey, our box. So we'll go back here. And then we're going to click in the, um, the blank cell below top workshops. And that's where it's going to go. So to get it, if you click insert and you go to that explore quick parts, it should be in there, workshop list, and go ahead and select it. It's going to be huge. That's OK. And then if you click anywhere in this area here, it selects the, the um, so I went to the left of the first um, text box. And then we can go to, so you have a couple of, you have SmartArt Design, and we're going to, the table, we're going with the SmartArt Format, and then Size, and the height for this will be 1.6, Enter, or Tab, that'll go to the next one, and then 3 and then enter. So now it fits into the box nicely. And that's a save and we'll continue. So we'll save this part and continue on 10-14.